You were listening to the Crazy Town Podcast, special episode of the Are You Urban Anthology, Volume 3, with the Super PP Time Podcast host and the lost Are You Urban episode with the Beardy 5 Podcast host. Ooh. TNT's here. Why was it lost? Eh, yeah, we'll talk about that in a minute. All right. So that's all we got on this episode, but hold your horses <laughs> right there. Hold them horses. Or grab them. It's... Enjoy the show. Another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast Special Edition Are You Urban Anthology Volume 3. <laughs> Shut up, TNT. I am your host, Jonas, and I am here with TNT Dynamite. I'm the supposed one. Uh, TNT, the I know, M I G H T. You know, I started mixing the YouTube <laughs> intro and the fucking podcast intro. It's all merging into they one. Are. Scene anyway. Yeah, that's true. So we're thank we're thank you we're thank you that you joined us. Well, thank we're thank you. We are we are very thank you. So uh, today's episode is uh, the Are You Urban Anthology Volume Three. The Super PB Time podcast hosts come on to play, and we have a lost episode of the Beardy Five Ooh. podcast playing Are You Urban. Basically, the story behind this episode is we tried to record it with them. We had major internet connection issues. I patched it together. It doesn't sound too terrible, but when I was trying to edit it, it was a pain in the ass. So yeah. we yeah. hope you guys enjoy. This is brand new content you have never heard before. Did you cut out the rape part? There was a rape part? Okay, never mind. You got raped? No, I'm saying no. <laughs> just play. Just play the episode. Just play the episode? All right. <laughs> Did I already tell everybody to follow us on Twitch? Well, you can tell them now. Eh, follow us on twitch.tv slash crazy town media. Catch all the season three live episodes and crazy town YouTube, crazy town media channel, and also at crazy town media on Twitter. All right, guys, we're going to get right into this thing. We'll be back at the end. Enjoy. <laughs> And we are back on the Crazy Town podcast with a very special episode of Are You Urban? With TNT Dynamite and the guys from the Super PP Time podcast, Jeff and Kay. Go ahead and say hello to everybody. Hey, all hey. right. All right. Are we urban? Are no. we urban? <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Welcome is we back. rural? Is we... <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, we want to go ahead and tell everybody r real quick where they can find your podcast on the internet, and then I'll explain how the game works, and we'll go from there. Sure. We are uh, – you can find us on Twitter at, at SuperPPTime, and uh, we're anywhere you can find podcasts like this fine one you're listening to right now. We're on iTunes, SoundCloud. We're on Stitcher, Google Play. Wherever you can find a podcast, you can probably find us. Awesome. Awesome. And definitely check them out. They're very, very funny. So – all right, guys. So basically, how are you urban works? And for all the listeners who may have not heard this before, it's an urban dictionary based game. So we take a word off of urban dictionary that some random user submitted, and I give you the word and you try to guess the definition. And it goes in turn. So whoever goes first, if they get it right, they get one point. If they miss it and the second person gets it right, two points, and then three points and so on. If nobody gets it right, then I give a pity point to whoever has the most creative, funny, or just least pathetic answer, I guess. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Yeah, so, we're gonna get a lot of that with our yeah, with our yeah. episode. So, <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and start. Uh, go ahead and Jeff and Kate. I need each of you to give me a number one between between one and twenty. Ooh, this is a hard one. Man, I didn't <laughs> think it was gonna be get this hard right out of the gate. Man, I didn't know we were gonna start with that. Yeah, yeah I know. hard hitting uh, questions I would here. Appreciated a little heads up on that one. Yeah, uh, I'm going to say seven, 17. Okay. Uh, tw 24. Ah, damn it. Um, 13. Okay, and TNT, what and about you? I'm Remember? going to pick the square root of 144. Okay, 12. All right. The number was 13, so Kate, you I got thought. it right. Oh, do you, oh, oh, do you, you want to go first, second, or third? Ooh, uh, I want to go second. Second, all right. 
And then uh, 12 was closer to 13. So TNT, do you want to go uh, first or third? I want to go seventh. Okay. Okay. So that would be first because it's the six and then, okay, all right, first. All right. Is that what <laughs> I Jack, picked? you'll go third. I'll go third. All right. All right. So here we go. We're going to start it out. TNT, this yeah. was submitted to Urban Dictionary by Wes Tent on April 29th, 2004. Good old Wes Tent. What is a manther? A manther. Ma- oh, manther. Oh, I know that. I know that. Like a panther, but with an M. Okay. This is the male version of a cougar. A manther is a man who dates younger girls. That's, I ab- mean, that's absolutely correct. Yeah. It's the male, oh, wow. it's the male oh. version of a cougar. God damn. See, don't, they call, know that- don't they call that a man? <laughs> <laughs> an individual person guy i i didn't realize that a, a cougar dated younger guys i thought they were just a hot chick in their 30s oh it's like a milf essentially okay yeah no, yeah no cougars cougars are, are dating the younger dudes ah yeah. oh, wow okay. see i'm i'm gonna be hurting in this game <laughs> <laughs> that's all right all right i guess you know i'm living in broken arrow i'm not sure if that's a leg up <laughs> <laughs> just just go just go for creative then we'll we'll go with that okay your word, it was submitted by Dario Barrera, a.k.a. Heartbreak Kid 2 with all the vowels left out, oh. on mm. April 18th, 2007. What? I hate that guy. I know. What yeah, it makes it more edgy the more <laughs> vowels you leave out. It does. <laughs> what is simpin? It's like pimpin' with an S. This is an easy one, guys. Come on, this is a layup. <laughs> a layup? This is, this is a layup. And I do have a sentence. If uh, so You can ask for a sentence. Sometimes I can give them. Sometimes I can't because sometimes it gives away the word. Um. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to have to call in for some help here. Okay. <laughs> give, give me a sentence. <laughs> well, now, wait a minute. Okay, Listen, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, uh, you say it's a layup, but for a guy with no arms and legs, you know, a layup <laughs> is a completely different thing. I'm, I'm living very rurally here. That's very That's true. It's very true. <laughs> All right. Damn, that girl I met last night got me simping. This is not what I thought it was. Oh, <laughs> oh I see. You got to remember, yeah. even if you think you know yeah, it, man, you're not is, it, is the it the definition canonical. you know, or is it the definition Dario Barrera, a.k.a. Heartbreak Kid 2 yeah. and no vowels knows? This is not the canonical definition. Girl last night got me simping. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm going to say, um, I'm going to say, it's uh, made him really uh, horny. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's it got it really it, the definition is when a guy or girl are sprung on someone or something. So I'll Yeah, give, that, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll give sprung. you that. Yeah, well that, that's what it means. That if, if someone gets you sprung then like you're hot for them, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we'll go with it. We'll go All with right. that. All, All right. right. All right. Third word. Jeff Yes. This was sub- submitted uh, by Airplane Donk on September twenty <laughs> oh <my laughs> Se- September twenty fifth, two thousand ten. What is a bitch chin? Mm. A bitch chin. Mm. Oh, I think I think I know this. A bitch <laughs> chin. Uh, can, can you can you use it in a sentence? Uh. Yes, it, it it has some derogatory words about a political figure in our country, so I'll change it to someone else because we don't get political on this podcast. Hey, all right. guy who may or may not be president, all of your children have bitch chins. Guy who may or may not be president, yeah, they do, and my son is a total pussy too. Okay, okay, so uh, so a, 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 a bitch chin, uh, I, I'm going to say, is like uh, a really um, – sort of sort of sloping underbite where you're where where your 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 chin goes like basically at a 45 degree angle back from your teeth like a really weak chin right weak chin yeah. real weak real weak chin. That, that is correct a person's chin which lacks definition or strength of character ah, so, all right. okay. yeah all right. yeah yeah no. so three words in we're tied was, one, one, one. Were three pretty good nice all right tnt you ready for your word yeah i'm ready this was submitted by eloisi uh-huh. On July 9th, 2017. So it's quite new. No. Oh, all right. Current. Right, current. Up, right up my alley. <laughs> what is drain the granny out of it? I'm sorry. What was that? <laughs> it's a phrase 
drain the granny out of it. The granny? <laughs> yes, as in like I know what this means to me. Is this, yeah. like, is, this, is this like grandpa scraping? Um, <laughs> it's a callback. A callback. Call yeah. yeah, draining the grain in uh, the rural dictionary <laughs> definitely means something else. It's, I think G-R. it's granny, though, it's isn't gra- it? Granny as in grandmother, it's yes. It's granny. Oh, all right. Can I can I get can I get it in a, can I get it in the sentence? <laughs> um, let me see if I can figure out a way to do this so it doesn't give it away. Um, man, I if you can, make him guess it, you can, yeah, Mister Judgy it's, Pants. It's, it's, all yeah. right, can I have the country of origin? It's American. All right, can I have the part of speech? It's a phrase. <laughs> it's a phrase. It uh, it is a. It's a description. Okay. I think it is when you get some a really dank bud okay. and you hit your uh your smoking implement to the point of where you take all the bud that is lying within the reservoir tip into your person. You know what? I'm going to give it to nice you pull. Nice because pull. It's, it doesn't have to do with reefer, but draining the granny out of something is when you get every little last bit. Some bit. So that, that okay, okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah, the, the, okay. Sentence, the sentence I couldn't tell, say was, hey, can I have a sip of your drink? Sure, but don't drain the, drain, drain the granny out of it. So I couldn't really tell you because okay. I would kind of tell All what right. it was. All right. All right. All right. Look at that shit. You pulled that one out of the fucking. All right. All right. You're being lenient. <laughs> You're being lenient today, and I appreciate it. That was it. You yeah, it was. Yeah, it right. was. All right, Cade. This was yes. submitted by Jay on October 11th, 2004. What is a burner? This is the easiest. This is another layup. Did you just get all layups for this one? That's what you said last time, and it wasn't <laughs> what you thought it was. <laughs> Everything's a layup for TNT, supposedly. Um, a burner. Come on, he put this one on the tee. All you got to do is step up and knock it out of the park. <laughs> tee ball? Are you yeah. comparing this yeah, I was going to say, there, there aren't that many out-of-the-park homers in tee ball, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> and the crowd is on their feet, and by that I mean those four people. Yeah, the four dads who showed up to watch. <laughs> um, I'm going to say that's a bong. No, that is incorrect. Oh, finally. Oh, oh. Okay, so 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 do I go after him? Hold on, he's is... trying to get the sound bite ready, but he's his journalistic integrity is failing. Oh, my phone is dead. Oh <laughs> uh, well. And... All right, there we go. All right, yeah, you get to go, Jeff, and if you get it, you get two points for the steal. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the only definition of this that I know, which is like a, a, a cheap shitty cell phone you get at like a convenience store. That is correct. Yeah, throwaway cell phone. Oh, yeah. Wow. Are you serious? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it was? Yeah, throwaway prepaid cell phone typically <laughs> used by dealers, used until the minutes are up, then throw away so it cannot be tapped. Listen, yeah. TNT, I've got, I've got to tell you how to be – you don't know how to be judgmental. <laughs> like you've got to know what you're talking about, and then you go for it. A burner is, is a firearm. Well, not according to or Jay. It's, or it's, or it's a, uh, another implement used to smoke marijuana. It's a firearm. Okay, fine. You got it. You got it. Jay says says differently. Jay doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. <laughs> Jay doesn't. All right, <laughs> Jay Jeff. and I. Jay, Jay and I get it. Jay right. and I know what that is. All right, <laughs> Jeff. This is this is your this is your word. Oh, okay. Su- submitted by Tree Leaf Salad, April eighteenth, two thousand seventeen. Tree Leaf Salad. What is breaking green? Mm. Breaking green. Oh, I know this one. This is a layup. <laughs> Every Break- single oh one of them is a layup. <laughs> Tansy, you've said this so many times, <laughs> and you never, and you never know what it is. You once never we know, know it. what it is. No, this, this is an easy one. Yeah. Breaking, breaking green. Uh, I'm gonna say it's uh, it's 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 gonna be like a like a a uh, a play on breaking bread, like you're smoking weed with someone else. You breaking green together. That's that's wow. correct. Sh- yeah. to oh share, my god! Yeah. To, sh- wow. to share cannabis with your friends or strangers. Yeah, yeah. he hits you right in numbers. All you had to do was catch it. <laughs> see, see, I thought it was like when you first get your weed and like you kind of pull it apart. <laughs> oh, like you breaking up the actual weed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I could see that too. But uh, I guess I'd be a little too on the nose. Wouldn't tree leaf salad yeah, felt right. differently about that one. In so April. this episode, <laughs> <laughs> we will defer to tree leaf salad on that. <laughs> 
This episode of the Crazy Town Podcast is going to get demonetized. I see. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know, we get all the money anyway. All right, TNT, you ready? <laughs> right. How are you guys going to pay uh, pay your mortgage if uh, this gets demonetized? I mean, right. this is bank on the streets again. I don't yeah. like doing it, but I do it when I have to. I mean, <laughs> property tax on the Crazy Town Compound is <laughs> out of control. Okay. <laughs> all right. TNT. Yes, I'm here. What is – oh, this was submitted by WVLKV space Flock V space Sheep okay, on yeah. April 12, 2017. Yeah, yeah. What is neglect? N-E-G-L-E-X-T. All right. This is a layup. <laughs> is it? <laughs> yeah, see, now, now, that's okay. You can do it if it's yours and you're going to get it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> neglect? Yes. Uh, is when a person a ghost on you in a text message when you refuse when you do not answer oh. a text. That message. is that's actually correct. The the act of abandoning Woo. someone in mid conversation for a prolonged period of time yeah. it, during a text message. Just give me, just also give, it's a really really bad name for a parcel courier. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. Just give exactly. just give me the rock, guys. Just give me the rock. And oh, I'll man. lead us to victory. All right. Let's see. Cade. Yes. <clears throat> what, Ready to this rock. This was submitted by Indian Shrieker on September 16th, Native American 2017. Shrieker. What is a lap error? L-A-P space E-R-R-O-R. L-A-P space E. Okay. Um. Um, this is a three-inch putt. You got a this. A three-inch putt. You got this. So far, every single one has been a layup to you, and you've got them wrong. I said this was a three-inch putt. It's okay. not a layup. This is different. <laughs> All right. I got you. Uh, this is when it's either when a stripper slips on the well drink and headbutts you in the nards. <laughs> wow. Or it's a malfunction on your laptop. Which one are you going with? Oh. <laughs> a lap error. I like the first one, honestly. Um I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it's a um a laptop malfunction. Okay, that is incorrect. Jeff? I know. You, you I have know. it? Oh, okay. he okay. finally got it. He got the noise finally. Jeff, what do you got? <laughs> Can, can, is it possible to get it in a sentence for this one? Uh, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. I, I forgot that was an option. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, Country of origin everything. helps sometimes, too. <laughs> last I wasn't going to get it anyway. Go last ahead. night, Jessica made a lap error. Oh. That's not giving you anything. Uh, she, uh, she peed herself. <laughs> Close but no cigar. That's, oh. Uh, TNT for three points? Ooh, Can you get it right? Three points. I believe a lap error, and I'm just making a guess by that sentence alone. A lap error is when your girlfriend sits in the wrong lap of an individual with the intention Ooh. of sitting on your lap. Oh, like that, that's actually incorrect as well. That's wrong? I'll give you, oh, I'll give you the pity, strikes. I'll, I'll give you the pity point for that TNT, but the actual definition when you're receiving a lap dance from a person and they release bodily fluid on your leg. Oh my god, he was actually really close. He was close. He was, that was, really close. <laughs> he was so close. Oh my gosh, he, he it was, was a wow. strip club thing. <laughs> <laughs> it was close. Like I was like, oh shit, I think he's on the right track. But it would. Does, it would does that happen a lot? I. I don't. I would imagine I, I it made it into it the would. dictionary. I remember. I remember when I went <laughs> to strip club enough. and I had that stain on my leg, that mysterious stain on my leg. When you went to the strip club, yeah. you had a stain on your leg. Yeah. yeah. The last time. Oh, we... that's right. You did. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> "What the hell is this on my leg?" Yeah. I guess it can happen because if they get all worked up and <laughs> and things start yes. oozing. I Let's stop talking. Of, yeah, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of things that can go wrong when that's happening. Let's stop talking. <laughs> silence for the rest of the podcast. Let's just, let's just have a few moments of silence on the old Crazy Town podcast. <laughs> oh shit! All right, we have two words left. 
the score is TNT four, Jeff four, Cade one. Ooh. So it's coming down to these last couple. It's a slobber Jeff, knocker. This is your Ooh, word. Boy. Okay. What is, this was submitted by forward slash B forward slash Illy Ray S on October 6, 2017. Okay, okay. What is a deluxe handshake? A deluxe handshake, mm. I'm gonna say, is a hand job. <laughs> I like I like where you're going, but that is incorrect. Oh no! TNT? A deluxe that would handshake? be deluxe. Yeah, that, 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 would, that, that would be that would absolutely very deluxe. Be deluxe. <laughs> a deluxe handshake. I, I get to, I get to make this joke, by the way. A uh, deluxe handshake is like the handshake that like black guys give each other, <laughs> where it's like all fucking elaborate and they like fucking move their fingers and intertwine, like make gang signs at the end. I'm allowed to make this joke. <laughs> I, that's incorrect, but you are allowed that to make the joke. That is not okay. correct, though. All right, <laughs> Kate, you got anything? Oh man, I gotta do this. I gotta do this to stay in the game. You could um, be tied for if, tied with yeah. everybody if you get this yeah, one, yeah, buddy. Yeah. Deluxe. Sadly, shape. sadly, I don't see it happening. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you. Damn you! Your face Me is neither, very low, buddy. but. Um. All right. Deluxe handshake. It's a. It's gonna be something aggressive or drug oriented or sexual. Is. I know what it is now. This is a layup. This is so um, easy. Oh gosh. <laughs> Easy one. I'm just, I just, I'm not quite as street as I <laughs> calculated that I was. Um, the Lux handshake is going to be like a fist fight, like a punch. Oh, oh that's incorrect. All right. Oh, so I, I, I am going to give the the pity point to oh. the hand job or to the uh black guy handshake. I think I think the delu- the deluxe I'll give, I'll give it to TNT on this one because that's that's a little more deluxe of a handshake. I thought it was right. But here we go. What is it? It is a man's handshake when you squeeze someone's hand so hard that you make them kneel down Mother from the fucker. pain you were ex- inflicting on their knuckles. And that makes perfect oh. sense. It says the, the typically, dickhead handshake typically yeah. done by redneck and trailer folk on unsuspecting people wow. is what they said. Wow. All right. That's from, Billy, that's from Billy Ray S. I think they meant to be Billy Ray Cyrus. But oh, you got to listen to the names, too. He said Billy Ray. So, yeah. Well, it was, it was, it's actually forward slash B forward slash Illy. So, it, like, the oh. B is, like, the bold, like, for... <laughs> I don't know. I get, I get. All right. Last one. I don't think that happens as much in trailer parks as it does, like, in Russian prisons. <laughs> right. Right. I, I, how how I, often do you go to Russian prisons there, guy? Now and then. Now okay. and then. Don't right. fence me in. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here we go. Five, four, one. TNT. Jeff. Oh, jeez. This is TNT's word to start. So oh, if someone man. steals it, they can still get the win. This was submitted by Lemon Lime Fanta. On November 2nd, 2017, what are interrogatories? Oh, geez. I-N-T-E-R-R-O-G-A-T-O-R-I-E-S. Interrogatories. Interrogatories? Can yes. I have it used in a sentence, please? Uh, the um, the plaintiff's will is required to answer, answer the defendant's interrogatories. Is this like an actual term? I don't know. It doesn't, sound, doesn't sound like an urban <laughs> doesn't. definition. I yeah, is this on like law, lawfare or something? <laughs> yeah, like... I, I got all the words off Urban Dictionary. This one was off like law.com. Sorry, I had one mixed in. I didn't know. Wow. Um, can I have oh, – uh, I know this. I know this. I know this. Can I have the part of speech? Uh, It's a noun. It's a noun. Yeah. Hmm. Give me the definition one more time. One more time. I can't give you the definition one more time. I mean, not the definition. You you can't tell me. has tricked me. The plaintiff was required to answer the defendant's interrogatories. The plaintiff. Interrogatories. Interrogatories are derogatory statements that you sneak in to make somebody else look bad. Uh. Good guess. That's wrong. No. Okay. God damn it. Get the bug. <laughs> All right, Cade. If you, if oh, you, yes. Uh, yes, if, yes. If you steal okay. the answer, Jeff can't win, and you won't give him a chance to, to steal for the win. What's your answer? I know this. I know this. I know this. It's when, like, you're, like, cheating on your partner, and they're, like, giving you the third degree. No. Like, no. Uh, no. I like, the, I like where your head's at on that, too, though. 
That's all right. That's all right. Uh, I, I just I, – I, can you give me that sentence again? Because it just sounded like – no, go don't get the sentence again. It's not going to help you one little bit, and you know it. <laughs> it He's talking him down already. Like, you're going to lose. Don't even try. Uh, the plaintiff was required to answer the, the defendant's interrogatories. <laughs> Why you ask for that again? You've heard it twice. It, it can, it's from a different – it's from the legal it's arena. <laughs> from- <laughs> I, watch, I watch courtroom dramas sometimes. Yeah, I, okay, I might know. Okay. Uh, I, I just feel like it's a, it's just like aggressive questions. It's just questions. He couldn't give I, you that after I, I, I missed it. I, right. I actually, I think I'm going to give it to you. How man. the fuck is what? the most obvious answer? A list, answer, a right list answer. of questions you must answer truthfully or you're fucked. Oh my god. Well, <laughs> the well, most obvious but no, answer. But, but now wait a minute. Another round. TNT gave like an answer. Like he said. Like, you know, a vending machine uh, wearing a 1930s hat, and you gave it to him. He was so far off, and you gave it to him, and you just – and you didn't give me this. I, I'm submitting a protest. Wait, so – wait, wait, you, wait. Cl- for clarification, you were saying that your significant other was questioning you? You just said it's when your significant other was getting on to you. That sounds like you are getting yelled at. No, I said when you were giving you're, giving the third degree, giving yeah. you the third degree, like a that's, that's, third that's, degree that's, is like that's, questioning you. It's oh, questions. All right, all right, all right. I, think, Jonas. I, think, I think you, I, I think you get it. I yeah, think you get did. it. Man. Right, Thank we'll you. Back. We're going to we'll review the tape. Up. We'll, we'll review the tape. Right, right. I misunderstood. Well, you just cost your partner the game. How does that feel? Now you guys can. Now you guys crabs in the bucket. Crabs in the bucket. Victory. Listen, that was like slick victory first victory ever <laughs> when it comes to urban you know dictionary game like are you urban all we care about is justice we don't care about victory <laughs> the win yeah. isn't important it's justice yeah. street yeah. justice do you guys feel any more urban now <laughs> oh wow i i realize how rural i really your, am your uh your homework yeah. is to use draining the granny out of it with someone in your life in the next seven days yes and i'd like a mixtape on my <laughs> desk in the morning thank you we'll do it we'll do it this is right. a time mixtape that'd be awesome so I'm just next time we do this i'm gonna like go to chicago and live homeless for a couple <laughs> of weeks just to bone up <laughs> all right well since we had a controversial ending we'll have you guys on to play are you urban again sometime how about that yeah all right all right, all right. All right. we'll, we'll get a little future. Yeah. So yeah, who won? Who won? TNT won. <laughs> okay, TNT won. It was okay. five to four to four. That was a really close game. It was. Yeah. You guys are so, valiant. Uh, valiant. Yeah. It's, it, it doesn't really matter how urban you are. It's because if you can fucking use context clues, we've had people before go, wait, what year did that happen? Oh, this word was kind of popular <laughs> in 2010. I'm going to use this word. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, oh, so, wow. Yeah, so, well, that's all the time we have for RU Urban. You guys, uh, we want to thank Super PP Time for joining us again. Uh, do you want to tell everybody re- real quick again where to find you online? So if they uh, like the way you make them laugh, they can come hear more of you. Give it to them, Cade. Yeah, yeah. Um, you can find us on iTunes and Stitcher Radio and SoundCloud. It's Super PP Time. PP is two words. And uh, anywhere else you find podcasts, you can find us. We're in our third year. It's all improvisation. And uh, we have a good time. All right. Very awesome podcast, though. But thank you guys so much for joining us again. And uh, we'll Thanks, be- guys. TNT, no, thank I'm going to smoke you next time, man. <laughs> yeah. And we will be right back on the Crazy Town Podcast. The Crazy Town Podcast. All right. And we are back on the Crazy Town Podcast with very special guests to play a rematch of the inaugural game of Are You Urban? Mm. Sid and Jess former hosts of the Beardy Five podcast, are here with us today. You want to say hello, guys? What's happening? What up, I'm Sid. What up, I'm Jess. All right. Now, uh, you said you guys are no longer doing the Beardy Five podcast. Uh, do you, uh, I don't know, uh, do you want to tell anybody what your new project's going to be, or just, or just kind of leave it at that where they can find your uh, Beardy Five stuff online? Well, we're coming out with a new project uh, called the New Games Podcast. Uh, you can find us uh, on Instagram at New Gains Media, on Twitter at New Gains Media, and uh, we've also got a Gmail, New Gains Media at gmail.com. Uh, but the podcast is called uh, New Gains. It's all about like weightlifting and life and, you know, some out of shape guys trying to get in shape. 
Awesome. Trying to get strong. Good. Awesome, awesome. So is the Beardy Five dead, or were there, there may be like a throwback here and there? It's it's still breathing. It's down, but it's still breathing. So we'll see. If we right. get real drunk, I'm sure we'll I'm sure we'll record one. <laughs> right, right, right. Hey guys, let's get the mics out and do a Beardy Five podcast. And they'd be like, okay, let's do it. <laughs> All right. You guys were in the inaugural game of Are You Urban, and you are now here for your rematch. Are you guys ready to take the crown from TNT Dynamite? Never happened. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't know if it's going to happen, but I'm definitely coming with ferocious tenacity. I came all to compete. All right, all right. Okay, all right. Well, for those of you out there who have never heard us play Are You Urban, it is an Urban Dictionary based game where I'll ask the contestants a word, and they have to give me the definition. If they get it correct, they get a point. If they miss it, it goes to the next player, the next player, so on for more points. If nobody gets it, I give a pity point for the funniest, most creative, or just because I want to give a point answer. That's basically it. Uh, you, Sid and Jess, each of you guys pick a number, one through ten. Four. One. Okay, d- Dynamite? Seven. Okay, it was four. Who said four? Jess. Jess, all right. You, where do you want to go? First, second, or third? I want to go third. <laughs> if they ever ask you that at a party, say first. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what kind of parties you guys are going to. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Sid, Sid, you want to go first or second? Invite me. Like I said, I'll go first. All right, and then Dynamite, you'll go second. Sure. All right. Sid, you ready for your first word? Let's do it. All right. This word was submitted by H. Weezy on January 2nd, 2009. Good old H. Weezy. What is high key? High key. It's a verb. It means when you make a lot of noise. And you, you, you cause a lot of shit, and you do your business where people can see you. This. You know, I, I will, uh, I'll give you that. It it's comes down here. It says the uh, when something needs to be said out loud, the opposite of low key is high key. That was a layup. That was a layup. That was a layup? It was. I knew exactly what it was as soon as you said it. I use every, high key. Every fucking word is a layup. I you. use high key in my daily speech. Do you? I I've do. never heard you say that my whole life. I know. All right. I say hockey all the time. Do you really? <laughs> all right. No, fuck no. <laughs> TNT Dynamite. This was submitted by iWork99 on July 28, 2008. See, I know what is but... selfish? C-E-L-L-F-I-S-H. Selfish? Selfish. C-E-L-L. C-E-L-L fish. All right. Can I get, uh, can I have it used in a sentence, please? Um. I cannot give it to you because it'll give it away. Well, that is just <laughs> bad fucking parameters on your on your behalf there. How about uh, can I get the part of speech? Okay, it is a um. Do you know your parts of speech? It's well, it's an, it's <laughs> a, it's an ad- adjective. <laughs> I don't know, dude. It's a weird. You it's so a, unsure. I am unsure. Selfish. Selfish. Yes. Selfish. It is, uh, oh, it is when a person will not allow you to use their cell phone. That is incorrect. Where's your buzzer? That's not right. That is oh, not man, correct. that was a good one. All right. And that goes to Jess. Selfish is Aquaman's phone that he uses to call his buddies. Thank you. <laughs> that is That is not correct. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Hold on, here it comes. And that Sid, damn buzzer. Sid, what about you? <laughs> Selfish. A single celled organism. <laughs> In the beginning of time. <laughs> the first fucking fish that ever existed. I'm not done yet. Don't bother me, son. <laughs> <laughs> He buzzed me mid sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That was incorrect. 
explain the shit. Give us a full answer yet. It might have been close. Okay, I will give the pity point to Jess. I like that. All right. The real answer is yeah. an individual who talks on their cell phone even when they were doing so is rude or inconsiderate of other people, such uh. as t- using your phone when you're ordering at a fast food place or checking out at a at a store. Yeah. Okay. I see that. Okay. I can see that. Damn. I, was, I knew it was something. All on right. Cell phones. <clears throat> Jess, here's your word. It is. It was submitted by White Bush. On June 14th, 2011, what is a bozophobe? As far as new scared of clowns. That is absolutely correct. I fucking knew it was right, <laughs> too. That was a layup. You want to talk about layups? Hey. That was a layup. <laughs> that was a layup. All right. All right. Hey, you know what? They can't all be crazy, all right? <laughs> Some urban dictionary words are easy. <laughs> what is this? The Can't All Be Crazy Town podcast? <laughs> that's what it is. That's, what, that's exactly what it is. All right. The oh, Sometimes here's Crazy Podcast? The Sometimes Crazy Podcast. Occasionally, we're a little out of hand podcast. That one, yes. <laughs> this one was submitted by Home Movies. For This is for Sid. What, what is maintenance strokes? Maintenance strokes is when you're about to bust, but you have to keep it, like, put it halfway in there just to keep it going a little bit. Oh, it's... When you're about to bust what, though, sir? <laughs> do you, you, do you care to illuminate when, a little when, bit? When, when, when you're about to bust a nut, <laughs> but you, you give it halfway, you don't, like, pull it, you don't pull it all the way off the tip to where you can, you know, maximize the feelings there. You minimize the feelings and then go a half stroke, get a maintenance stroke. Keep her happy, but you know, you about sure done, you son. Wow. I'm learning, I'm, <laughs> You're about done. We're getting, yeah. we're getting, a, we're getting a, 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 a look behind the curtain into his sex life at home. <laughs> hey, I, I keep it tight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, that is close for maintenance strokes, but that is not what Home Movies said maintenance strokes is. Yeah, you get a buzzer twice. TNT Dynamite, what is maintenance strokes? Oh, I, it's my turn? Yeah, you're second in line. Uh, maintenance strokes. Uh, those are the strokes that help an, an individual maintain an erection. That is actually correct. It is what, what a man does to maintain his erection, usually while waiting for more porn to load or doing something else. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Now, now we're getting a peek behind TNT's curve. Because <laughs> exactly. I've never had to do maintenance strokes for that, son. Never, never had to spit on it a little bit just to keep it going? A little bit. <laughs> never, never I, I keep it me. real solid. Keep it I keep it solid. solid. <laughs> Well, for the steal, you got two points. Cool. So now you. we're now we're going. This is your word, TNT. This is my word. What is a man stand? This was submitted by Adman Ten Twenty on October twenty second, two thousand six. It's like a deer stand. Man a stand. Man stand. Can I have it used in a sentence? Just give it to me in a sentence. I've been doing the man stand for an hour. Oh, <laughs> that, like that helps a little bit. It lets me know that it's a it's a type of, of of way that a man would stand. It's the way a man stands with his with his like a horse stance, you know, like a way a man stands with his horse stance. No, like a horse stance, like you know, you kind of got your it's like your b boy stance. Your b boy stance. This is 1992. <laughs> like like uh, with your legs, the, the just shoulder buzzer. width wrong, shoulder width buzzer. apart. Incorrect. And... Jess, what's a man stand? <laughs> A man stand is similar to pitching a tent. It's a full erection. (laughs) (laughs) No, that's incorrect. Damn it. We're a high-class comedy show here. Everything's not about penises. (laughs) Sid, (laughs) you got got something for the man stand? Well, the man stand is where you stand there with your arms crossed for a long-ass time. 
That I can't. I can't give it to you. Close. It's probably like it's close. On your girlfriend. It is actually while it's what men do while they stand around waiting for their girlfriend Fucking while they're shopping in a store. It. It's oh a my god! That's a good one. God damn it! Of course the technical definition is the act of a man standing outside a shop while his wife or girlfriend shops inside. Man standing involves looking into space at other women, or in case of a multi-story shopping center, leaning on the railings of an upper upper floor watching the people below. <laughs> Yeah, and we all laugh because we've all done it. We have all done it a million times. So I will give, oh, I'll give, I'll give Jess the. the, Actually, you know, I'll give it to Sid because he was closest. He was. Thought about giving it to Jess, but Sid was closest to the real answer. He said, "Standing around." So I'll give him the pity point. So it's after after five words, it's two, two, two. Oh, okay. Oh shit! Yeah, this one. This one it's goes to Jess first. Yeah, he's last. What is this was this was submitted by Squiggly Hoblet, August seventeenth, two thousand seventeen. Naturally, I know him. I know he's my buddy. What is <laughs> what is napstipated? Napstipated. It's when you wake up in the middle of the night knowing that you got a shit. <laughs> no, that's incorrect, but I like where you're coming from. Damn. It? Everybody's done that. <laughs> Everybody, Everybody has done, done that. that. Okay, what, what about a sentence here? Can can we do a sentence? Oh, yeah. you um, got to use those lifelines. It's, yeah, I'm suffering from some severe napstipation. Ouch, man, you're napstipated. That sucks. You should really see a doctor. <laughs> It doesn't really give you anything. Squiggly Hobble isn't a lyrical genius. Naps to pay. Naps man, your naps to pay. Okay, okay, I got you, I got you. It means you're acting like a dick because you can't take a nap. Like, motherfucker needs to go go to sleep. Like, you need to take a nap, and you're being an ass, but you just can't. The actual definition is when you need to take a nap but can't. So I'm I'm so urban. That (laughs) that was, and that's two points. Uh oh, he's up. He's up. Oh Oh, shit! Sure. Sure. That was a layup, though. All right. (laughs) That was a layup. (laughs) All right. Jess. Yes. Wait, is he the? No, is that he the first? No, he was the first on that one. Sid, Sid, you go first on this one. What is ready? A thirst responder. It was submitted by Yes It Yes It Two by August thirty first, two thousand seventeen. A, a thirst responder. Thirst responder. It's when you're in the club and, and she looks so thirsty, and you have to get over there first to make sure you get that. Wow! wow. Can I <laughs> can I buzz him now? I mean, it, he's gonna give you that, and I'm gonna give you the real definition. No, it, it's that's that's technically not the right definition. I can't give it to you. It's close, but I can't give it to you. Um, yeah, well, okay. TNT, yeah, you get the first. This is, steal it's chance. a layup. Thirst responder. Uh, well, the term thirst usually means like uh, you obviously want the 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 poon tang. <laughs> the poon tang. Okay. For, for lack of a better term. A thirst responder is the person who responds to a thirst trap or a woman who is uh, trying to attract attention. And that's close too, but no. That's not it. That's, that's not what yes, yes it too says. And we got one more person to guess. Jess, what a do you thirst think it is? A thirst, resp- thirst responder is being the first one to comment on a good looking oh. woman's Instagram page. That is also incorrect. That's it's wrong all too. close. It's all close. That was a good one. The, the actual definition is dudes that start hitting on a girl immediately after she becomes single. Uh, Sentence uh, Bri- uh, Bryce didn't even wait an hour after Jen ended her relationship to ask her out. He's such a thirst responder. Okay. That was pretty good. I yeah. Uh, we were, yeah. We were all close. Yeah, it was all close. Like, ugh. All right. That was all close. But I think. I am not going to give anybody a pity point. You're all too close, man. I can't. I, I'll give Jonas the pity point. It was there you all, go. You take Jonas the point. You're on the board. Point. You're on the board. Damn it. You were all too close to that one. TNT. He's coming down to the clutch on this one. Yeah. 
All right. What are you going to do? This was submitted by Mitsu Mike, December 7, 2006. Mitsu Mike. What is rabbit fuck? Oh, what well, is easy? This is when a man is having intercourse with a young lady, but he's doing the short, quick strokes. They're short and they're fast and they're just like, uh, he's hitting it from behind and I'm making the motions. I wish you guys could see it. But I, 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 th- <laughs> you can be- I think I think you got it. Okay, yeah. all right. It was it was to hump as fast as you can. So yeah, yeah short, quick strokes. Uh, that, that was- yeah, that counts. Another peak in right. the mind, <laughs> TNT. <laughs> <laughs> you guys knew that answer too. Don't no, act no. like you did. All right, we've all wrapped it before. Jess, yes. What is this? Was submitted by the C Man, the letter C <laughs> Man, August first, two thousand seven. Highbrow humor. Uh, what is remasculate? Remasculate. It's when a guy's being kind of a puss, so you take him to the bar with a bunch of the guys, and you have to, you know, show him how to be a man again, not be a puss. I, I, you know what? I'll give that to you. How do you show him? I know a man. I can get closer. I can get closer. You can't close. Get out of here. <laughs> I Does it have anything closer. to do with his girlfriend? No, he got it. I was going to read you the definition. He pretty much had it. The opposite, of emas- the opposite of emasculate, to grow one's balls back after they have been shrunken. Thank so, you. To take him out and, re- and re-masculate him now. Yeah, you can have that one. That was good. All right. Oh, it's coming down to the, the clitoris here. <laughs> one word left. One word left. The coming down to the clitoris. Wait, wait, <laughs> Sid, what, what's the score with one word left here? Sit. Sid's up by one. Oh, bitch. He has four. TNT and Jess have three. And there's one word left, and Sid gets first crack. Oh, if he shit. gets it right. I go I home with the crown. If not, if he doesn't, you can steal and win, I'm TNT. And, or can Jess happen. can. Or I can pity point you guys into a tie. Oh, uh-oh. Shit. It's a lot, there's a lot going on this word. I'm not scared at all. All right. Peony Baggins submitted this. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> on oh, April God. 19th. 2017, what is a Clazomaniac? K-L-A-Z-O Maniac. Oh, you bud. No. Oh, K- hey, K- hey, what's K- the layups? L- what, you got a layup word K-L-A-Z-O Maniac. Clazo or Clazo Maniac. Yeah, that, the, the last one ain't going to be a layup. I, oh. I do have a tiebreaker if, it need, if we need it. Oh, shit. Clazo Maniac. Please. Uh, go ahead. I've got a good idea. Go ahead. Clazomaniac. What about, you got a sentence? Uh, can you please stop being such a clazomaniac? <laughs> <laughs> they got good words on, uh, so on Urban Dictionary. So helpful. That basically gave it away. This is a layup, by the way, guys. So <laughs> now it is. Now you don't, is, now you don't that know that it sentence. from that sentence. What is a clazomaniac? Someone who likes to screw in the closet. That is where's, my, where's, my, where's my buzzer? That's incorrect. Don't buzz me. No! <laughs> Don't buzz me. TNT. Clazomaniac. A clazomaniac is a person that is low key, opposite of high key, a maniac. Is a low key maniac? Yeah, he's a he's in the ma- he's in the closet. He's a maniac in the closet, and then you, you know, he tries to act like he's normal, but then he comes out of the closet as a maniac. What the fuck? So what does it what does it mean? What the fuck? I just said I don't know. I don't know. Obviously, I don't know the answer. <laughs> like I don't even know what to interpret that as. Is he's he... a closet maniac. Closet maniac. You said closet mania. Okay. All right. Is that's that not a, wrong? That's not right. Okay. That's of course not right. it's not. I don't know. It's a layup, though. I should have had that. Yes. <laughs> it is. Starters miss layups. A homosexual a maniac. A gay man with a temper. <laughs> it is a gay man with a temper. <laughs> <laughs> They're 
all wrong. That that's, works. That's incorrect. As, that's incorrect as well. You know what? I'm giving two pity points. I'm making it a four-way tie, a three-way tie, coming down to one word. No. That's what I'm doing. That's what Jonas is I'm, doing. I'm, it sounds. This is this has been okay. a shit show. It's, it sounds like a... we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Okay. Oh man. This is all gonna work. Y'all get to give it. I'm 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 reinventing the game. He's doing it. One word. You all give an answer. Best answer or correct answer wins. Okay. Okay. Money take all. All right, guys. It's Mavi. Submitted this August 11, 2016. What is? There Gas ends. Spell it. Gas, G A S space, ends. Is this like is this a racial thing? I don't think so. <laughs> I will give each of you a turn to give your answer, and I will not say anything until all three have given, and then I will tell you the real word, the real definition, and the winner. Oh my god, who knows? I will start with Sid. Sid, you're first. What is gas ends? Gas ends. It's it's the the sweatpants you put on when you when you got a good fart coming, like after you eat a lot of meat. You get... I know, I, man, I, 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 I lost a fucking game right there at the end. This sucks. I know that was. <laughs> Damn it! I lost it. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. All right, Jess. Yeah, but I, but I, I, TNT, TNT, I had this second. one. I had this game. You still might, because I have no idea what the hell this is. Gas ends. Gas ends. Um, it is the smell lines that come from a person's ass when they fart. It's the smell lines. Yeah, like in a cartoon. Yeah. Like, okay. Is that not it? That's. I, I don't know. I'm not giving any. I'm not telling oh, okay. anything until this is over. Jess, what is your answer for gas ends? My answer for gas ends. Y'all gotta look. Y'all gotta look a little closer. It's when your fart stops. Gas ends, fart stops. Okay. Gas ends, fart stops. So we have, so we have gas ends, fart stops. We have the jogging pants you put on after you ate a lot of meat. And we have the lines coming out of your ass when you fart. Which is probably right, but. <laughs> those, those are our three choices. <laughs> those are our three choices. <laughs> they are all absolutely incorrect. All high class answers. <laughs> Highest caliber. I think I think since this has been such a cluster, we're three way tying it. We're gonna three way tie three way tie for yeah. a rematch. Yeah, you guys gotta come back. We'll we'll three way tie it <laughs> for a rematch. I think the cut now, it, it discombobulated everybody. Everybody was on the same page. We evened out. Five 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 five. Okay, I'll take it fair. Game. So, I'll take it. That sounds fair. That sounds. And fair. that way, if I edit it and we can't make it work, then you guys, you guys put up a valiant effort. Yeah. But uh, but anyways, now that we've we've made everybody sad on the podcast because it's a three way tie, <laughs> I do want to thank you guys for taking the time to come on the show today. Do you want to tell everybody again where they can find you online? You can go to Instagram and go to New Gains Media. Uh, New New Gains Media across all platforms. I think we're going to be most active on Instagram with this with this new show. And uh, on a side note, Jonas, you haven't yes. fought, you haven't fought us back yet, man. Whoa. I haven't what? You, you, haven't, you, followed them you back. haven't fought us back on New Games Media. Yeah. Oh, it's man, actually I'm there right now. It's yeah. actually really starting to hurt my feelings. Yeah. So. Jess has been worried about it. He's like, man, I don't know if I can take it anymore. <laughs> wow! Yeah, wow. man, he's doing it right now. Call, call me right out on the show. I'm doing it right now. Yes, as we speak. Jess is a causal maniac. <laughs> <laughs> Still don't know what it is. Oh, a causal maniac! Did I even tell you guys? No, what I don't think we ever figured out what a causal maniac. Oh, is. Uh, the, a causal maniac is someone who only speaks by shouting. What the fuck? And, ga- and gas ends. I didn't tell you what that was. You didn't tell us what gas ends. It's was. when you throw down money on someone's gas in their car. Oh shit! Yeah. What? Ends. Like I will take you, I will take you there if you have gas ends. E N D S ends, gas ends. Man, I, I really wish I knew it was E N D S. I told <laughs> no. <laughs> what? It's all right. Whatever. All it's right. over with. Well, that was the sloppiest edition of Are You Urban We've Done Yet, but it was the best. But 
I wanna, we'll be right back on the Crazy Town Podcast. <laughs> TNT, that's the only tie in RU Urban history. But it's not a victory, and I retain the belt, so, you know. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, we kind of just drew it at the end because it was just, it was a cluster, man. <laughs> it really was a tie, though. Yeah, it was, that, was, that was the closest one. But I think all the interruptions probably, like, threw the chi of the game off. Maybe probably. a little bit. Yeah, it was it was very clustered, but. All right, everybody. Thank you for listening. Uh, follow us on twitch.tv forward slash crazy town media. So can do it. Do it. So you can follow all of the live crazy town season three. Uh, YouTube channel is under crazy town media as well. It has all of our gaming and podcasts on there and also at crazy town media on Twitter. For Jonas, for TNT Dynamite, we are out. <laughs>